Hello friends. So today I'm going to explain you how we will set up the SSHless password authentication. So like suppose if you're planning to do some automation like in uh, within your infrastructure, within your project. So I can say this is the best way. Even like when we are using the Hansible automation tool, right? So to, uh, there also we are doing the same thing, SSHless password authentication for connecting to the client to remote machine. Even one, uh, like uh, suppose if you're working as a Linux admin in any organization, so sometimes you're getting a request from the application team, maybe they uh, wants to run the, some script, you know, so they want to set up the SSH, SSH less password authentication. So they maybe request you to set up the, like they will give you a few servers and ask you to set up the SSH password less authentic authentication. So as a Linux admin, you should have to know this thing. So I'm just requesting you, all of you, please watch this video till end, you know, so and uh, so you can get the clear picture how we will set up the SSH password, passwordless authentication. Why? Because I'm going to explain you very easy way, I can say, because if you follow the certain steps, few steps, like you, you successfully, you know, set up the SSHless password authentication you're in your environment, you're in your lab. Okay. So fine, so let me start. So you can see this is my blog and uh, my blog name is my Linux cloud, you can see. So here also I have posted the same thing, SSH uh, password let authentication. Even uh, all the Linux related documents are available here for the interview related. If you want, you can go and read it. So here in the password let authentication, uh, here I have mentioned all the steps by steps. So if you want, you can go and read it. I will give the link in my this video description. Fair enough. Now, let me show you the how we will set up the lab for the SSHless password authentication. So you can see these these are the my two server. A one is the Terraform, one is the NFS VM. Okay. So let me log into the this server, both server. So the one is the Terraform. Let me log into the Terraform server. <coughs> and how you build the server like in uh, that if you want to learn then you go to the my youtube channel and there i have already uploaded the uh, video so and even I, I will give the link on my this video description if you want you can go and watch that video also so fine now i have uh, lo already logged into the terraform server now let me log into the NFS. This is a Hansible server also. So I have mentioned here the Hansible server. So let me log into the this server also. So in this video, I will not call this server is a Terraform and this is a Hansible server. We will talk about this Terraform is the my client machine and Hansible is a my remote machine means a remote server. Why? So client means where you performing the task like where you doing uh, where you writing some script and performing a task and where you have to perform that particular task so that is a remote machine where you doing something that is a client machine and where you have to perform that task that is a remote machine so my terraform is a client machine in this video and Hansel is a my remote machine okay fine now let me check i'm able to log in or not this terraform server uh, so I'm sorry, my remote machine to means uh, uh, my client machine to remote machine. Let me try to log in. So this is my client machine. Let me try to paste here. You can see it's asking the password. Okay, so I that's why I'm going to show you how uh, we will do the lab for the SSH less password authentication, like how we will set up the lab. So it will not ask the any password. Fine. So there are a few steps I already tell you, told you, right? So please follow the step by steps. So first steps, I'm going to create one user. Okay. In your condition, suppose if you have already any user, no need to create the user. You can take that user. Okay. No need to create the user. You can uh, skip the first steps, which one I'm going to show you here. Why I'm going, create, going to create the user here? Because I'm going to show you from the uh, scratch. So you can easily understand. Okay. Let me log into. So this is the first step. I'm going to create the one user. That user name is uh, mm, Jamon. Okay. Let me 
check that user is uh, available or not you can see jamon user is uh, not available here okay so let me create so what is the command for user creation user sorry my keyboard is not working okay user add hyphen s slash bin slash bash space hyphen d slash uh, home user home means so user home directory i'm giving to specify here <coughs> slash m <coughs> username so my user is created if you see here my user is created let me to create this user on al also my remote machine create copy paste yes here also created the user fine so let me assign the password for this user oh password for this user fine it's created user successfully let me create the another user here sorry here let me assign the password for this user here also fine so first step is done we have created the user and we have assigned the password now what you have to do you have and uh, you can see here now i'm not going to no, uh, now anything on i'm not going to do anything now on the uh, my remote machine whatever i will do on the only my client machine here in this server i will not do perform any task here uh, okay now i will perform every task from here okay so my user is uh, created first step is done now second steps you have to create the key rsa id rsa and uh, rsa.pub these two key you have to create so how you will create so you have to switch the user first as you have on jaimon and then ls minus la you can see only three files are available here as, as of now okay so let me create the key that for key creation command is ssh hyphen key gen here you can change the parameters as per your requirement but in, in my condition i'm not going to change i will take all default parameters okay let me hit enter so you can see that user is uh, created because i didn't get any error okay so let me check that uh, sorry mm, key is uh, created so let me check that key is uh, created or not you can see key is uh, created but it's not showing here so key is a uh, available inside the dot ssh directory if you go to the inside ssh directory ls minus la you can see this two directory sorry those th these two files are available here now id underscore ras and id underscore ras dot pub <coughs> so second step is done we have created the key now third step so third step is the like we have to create the directory dot ssh on the remote machine on the remote machine means on the this server if you go here now cd home and jamon sorry jamon you can see no dot sss directory is available now right so we have to create the directory on the remote machine how you will create ssh jamon at the rate 192.168.56.104 this is my id uh, ip for the remote machine and here i'm going to create a directory so i am going to use the command mkdir hyphen p dot ssh yes and then password so it's created you can if you go here you can see it's a created yeah dot ssh directory is created here now what you have to do so we did three steps we have created the user we have created the key we have created the directory this <coughs> now this is the fourth step in a fourth step what you have to do in a first step you have to copy you have to copy this key id underscore ras dot pub on the your remote machine so as of now i have only one remote machine 
so I can copy here if you have multiple remote machine so you have to copy this key on the all the remote machine okay fine so how you will copy the key so cat space and cat is uh, cat space and then ID underscore rest dot pub RSA uh, dot one second let me call my keyboard is a little bit creating a problem not not so let me copy paste yes okay so then what you have to do in a pipe let me type the command here first then keyboard see okay no so x y z sorry jaimon at the rate and then ip we have to give 192.168.56.104 this is my remote machine ip okay just remember this thing now here what you have to do in a single um, code cat this all and then dot sh slash underscore keys okay let me explain now so uh, so you can see I'm going to cat this file this means a key file id underscore ras dot pow and then I'm going to SSH on my remote machine so SSH jamon and this IP remote machine IP and then I'm going to create one file that file name is the authorize underscore keys where inside the dot ssh directory through cat command so let me create this file so yes now if you go here cd dot ssh ls minus la you can see this file is a created authorize underscore key fine now what you have to let me try now ssh it's how working or not SSH 192.168.56.104 it's asking a still password okay fine so till now we have completed the first four, uh, four steps first we have created the user second we have created the keys third we have created the directory fourth we have to copy the rsa.pub on the remote machine now this is the last steps so what is the last steps you have to change the file permission and directory permission on the your remote machine so which kind of permission you have to keep i will show you ssh jaimon at the rate your ip 192.168.56.104 space in double quote ch mode 700 dot ssh ch mode 640 dot dot ssh let me copy my keyboard little bit getting a problem let me copy this key here one second sorry so yeah so now let me change the permission oh I didn't close the bracket we change the permission right now let me try to log in SSH you can see now it's not asking the password I able to SSH right so this is a way you can do the pa SSH password let authentication so if you follow the five steps you can successfully you can establish the uh, uh, you can set up the SSH less password authentication in your lab in your, in, in your environment okay 
so i hope uh, you like this video so please subscribe my channel comment and share it and thanks for you watching